If you're like me and you spend hours inside the Venture Resolve editing your video and at the end of it, you go to export it and it look all washed out, then this is the video for you. Let's go. So here we are inside DaVinci Resolve guys and there are three settings that you need to um, fix in order to get a proper um, export on your video so that it matches what you see on your timeline versus what you get in your export. All right, so the first thing is you need to, in the preferences, you're gonna to go to your color management and then also your deliverable. So the first thing we're gonna do guys is we're gonna go inside DaVinci Resolve in the menu section right here and we're gonna go to preferences. Once you're here in preferences, you're gonna to go to your general. Once you come to general guys, these are the two settings I want you to change. You're gonna change this one, it says use matte display color uh, profiles for viewers. And also you're gonna say automatically tag Rex, Rex 709 scene clips and Rex 709 A. All right, so that's your first thing that you need to set. Because what this is going to allow you to do is once you import anything inside, whether it's a picture, PNG, whatever it is, it's going to match what you actually see on your screen, okay? Because I'm actually using a Mac. All right, so once we're out of here now is the next thing that we need to do and make sure that we do is we're going to come over here to this cogwheel right here. When I click on this, once we do that now, guys, is I'm going to come over here to your color management. And the only thing you need to do, guys, is make sure your timeline color space is DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate. And then you're going to go for your, your output color space is Rec 709, guys. So once you do this, you, everything is kind of coming into play now. Because what happened is if you're someone who edits your videos inside the color area and you're doing all these edits, you want to make sure that at the end of your export that it actually matches what you see on your screen right here. All right. So what we're going to do now is once you have actually done this part here, guys, is you're going to simply come over to your delivery uh, section now, guys. Is So once we come inside here, we're going to make sure you can use this section here where it says custom export. Once you do that, you just name your file. Once you name your file, guys, you're gonna to come down to export video. In the format section, I normally use QuickTime, but you can actually use, uh, I think it's uh, MP4. You can use that as well, all right? So once you come down here now, the color codec, I normally use H.264, guys. And then once you come down here, everything is pretty much standard until you get abroad here. A lot of persons have actually changed uh, where is it now? You, another person actually changed where it says automatic was a quality. I use mine, I keep mine on, on, on quality on automatic, but you can actually use uh, about 8,000 and restrict it to that, 80,000, sorry. Um, and you can restrict to that. And then everything else is pretty much standard until you come to this section right here where it says, if you, if you, if you come here, usually it's like this standard. All you're gonna do is gonna click on this and then now is you're gonna change, only thing you're gonna change is two things here where it says color space tag and gamma tag. You're gonna make sure that you have this as Rec 709 and then you're gonna also have this as Rec 709-A. Because what was happening before with me is I had both of them on Rec 709 and also I, um, when I, whenever I did my exports, I realized, I'm gonna show you an example here, guys, is if I come here to my movies and I show you my test, you're gonna see how flat this image actually looks right there. And I was so frustrated as to why it was keep on doing that, guys. So once I did all of that and I did my export, it just came out exactly how I saw it on my screen inside DaVinci. And this was actually, as you can see, it says here, um, test five. If I could go to my test five here now, and I play it, you can see that it looked exactly how it's supposed to look inside uh, you know, your timeline. And when you export this and put it up on YouTube, you know that you're gonna have the exact thing, guys. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, if this is something that you guys have been struggling with, because I know I have. And if you have, leave it in the comment section below. I'm using a Mac. I don't know what the, what the settings are for the Windows version. If any of you guys in the comment section has Windows, let me know. So you can probably, probably just share it with someone else there. So if you guys enjoyed this video, guys, smash that like button, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this one, guys. And if you want to see any more, you can see check these videos out over here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.
Thank you.